educator and cultural organizer based in Oakland. My work focuses on portraiture for counter narrative and community storytelling. I also do a lot of work really focusing on all the issues around abolition and ending the prison industrial complex. I miss pandemic and crisis around every single corner. <laughs> I decided to be part of the show because I want to engage in creating artwork that helps us to see how it is that we got here, as well as what it looks like for us to articulate what it means for us to move towards a more just future. When I was making my poster, I was really thinking about what would it look like if we were actually celebrating an amendment that made our democracy fully alive. And so I was thinking about what are the limitations of the 19th Amendment? What are the 19th Amendment's failings? And the 19th Amendment was not designed for truly all women to participate in voting. The 19th Amendment was largely designed for upper class educated white women to engage in voting. And also the way in which they lobbied for their vote was a way that was exceptionally racist, arguing as though they had more of a right to vote than black men who had received the right to vote before them. And so in thinking about you know, what actually makes a democracy possible, and right now all the things that are causing our democracy to crumble is about inaccessibility. And so in designing my piece, um, my piece features Star Bennett, and I really wanted to embody the spirit of what would it look like if actually the 19th Amendment were about um, the broadest sense of inclusivity when we think about that our democracy actually doesn't have a pulse unless we're all participating. The nature of democracy is that all of us have a say in the way that we are governed. And so I really wanted to make something that had a spirit of um, full participation and also really claimed the truth that there isn't a democracy if anyone is excluded from that democracy.